Hello, I'm Chad Smith, and in this session, we're going to have a look at a fairly easy way to add some depth to your elevations through the use of masses. In this example project, I've got over on the left hand side a balcony and a lower balcony over on the right hand side as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set these so that they appear a little bit further back in the distance. If we actually have a look at the floor plan, we can just see where those are in relation to the building. Here it is on the left hand side and here it is over on the right hand side. Now in this project I've already got loaded a mass object. I've called it mass elevation depth. This mass object is a fairly simple mass family. Uh, it simply has a length width and depth instance parameters on it so that I can stretch them around. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go and drag this into the project. Also making sure up on the massing and site tab that uh, we do have mass uh, form and floors turned on so that we can see where we're going to place this mass. Uh, I'm going to make sure it goes on to a lower level and I'm just going to drop it in just about there. Okay, because it is instance driven, you can see here I can go ahead and just grab the grips on the lengths and the depths. There we go. Basically just ensuring that the balcony on the left and on the right here are enclosed within this mass object. So I'm just going to control tab back to my elevation view. Uh, just cancel that. And once again, just making sure that we've got these masses turned on. Yes, we do. Just reconfirming that. And you can see here that the height is not set correctly. So just using these grips once again, I'm just going to drag this down and drag the top of it down as well. All right. Now you can already see that the depth is being applied to the elevation because that mass object actually has a material applied to it that has a 50% transparency. It's going to start graying out those objects in the background. And because it is a material, I can actually go into the materials dialog. Okay, and you can see here I've got my mass elevation depth material that has a transparency on it. Uh, if I don't want the those items in the background to stand out as much, I simply just decrease that transparency on it. If I hit OK, you'll notice there that those objects are now fainter and appear further in the background. You can also layer these mass objects on top of each other to increase that, uh, that opacity to the mass object, giving it a greater sense of depth as well.